Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling fantastic and I really hope that the start of the week for all of you has been magnificent. Sagittarius, let's get straight into it shall we? Let's dive in head first as I always say, I will clear the deck for you. Now Sagittarius, for this week's topic I do want to talk about uh, those that, well for the collective watching this, that you yourself consider yourself 100% single. Even if you're admiring from someone far away or you're still thinking perhaps about someone from your past, even the recent past or you know long ago, but you yourself are considering, yep, I am still 100% single. So if you're just curious or you want to see what else is out there, I want to cover several things like who is coming towards you? What energies are they bringing and what can you expect? It's going to be really, really good here. So let's do this, Sagittarius. As you can see, I'm in a different setting today. It, uh, it's actually a really nice day and I hope it stays that way and it's quiet. So I am actually outside uh, in my yard. It's not that big, but there's a lot of sun um, out here. So I just want to take advantage before it gets darker. <laughs> it's good to change things up, Sagittarius. Also, Gigi, um, uh, uh, the partner of this channel, I know that after this reading, she will also be uploading your general financial and career reading as well. So do give that a check out. It's always in your dedicated playlist where she focuses on other areas of your life. All right, one more for my beautiful Sagittarius that if you consider yourself 100% single, what do we have there? Ooh, you got the 10 of cups, Pisces energy. It seems that you've got the energy of your happily ever after is on its way to you. Three more, everything that said, oh, all right, thank you. Two more, last one, perfect. All right, Sagittarius, here we go. Now we do have a highlighted message here for you. Yeah, no, they're saying this is your energy. This is how you've been feeling. Let's see if it reflects that. Well, look at what we have. The cards are a little bit shiny. I do apologize. There we go. So we've got the Hermit. That is, even though it's ruled by Virgo, it is your energy. That is the Wise Sage. And what is the Wise Sage doing? Casting light back into a situation, the path before them, the future here. I see here that uh, Sagittarius, a lot of you have been a little bit maybe too hermity, very withdrawn. We're pulling back our energy here. Why? Why does this happen? Sometimes because life becomes just a little bit too loud. So as a result, what happens? We, uh, we, we kind of pull back our energy. There's a lot of withdrawal, a lot of soul searching here. You know, if we had to really look back at your past relationships, Sagittarius, you have learned a lot here. So if many of you have been wondering, well, the last person hurt me, the last person cheated on me, what was the lesson there? We know, we, we always say that, right? I think what you took away was wisdom and experience. Now you carry that, it compounds now. You take that into your next relationship, but you have learned massive, big spiritual lessons here, Sagittarius. So give yourself a pat on the back now. You're a lot more wiser. You pick up on red flags a lot more quicker than before. So I'm absolutely loving your energy, but perhaps now it's time to come out of the darkness and see what else is out there. I'm loving your energy. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Bottom of the deck. Yeah, I think you're searching now after something serious. We've got more Virgo energy. Now, Sagittarius, you might be dealing with a Virgo. There's a dog barking next door. I hope it just when it gets quiet, it gets a bit loud. Um, because we're seeing double Virgo energy, you might have it very strong in your chart. But you know what? Zodiac signs here are not really important. But what is important here is that this is what you want. It's having it all. You're after something secure, long-term, grounded, abundant here. And you will not be accepting any anything less because now uh, you've learned the lessons. You're not going to compromise. Uh, you're not going to ignore the red flags here at all. So I, I'm going to think that you are actually ready. This is really just having it all, as I said, the commitment, the marriage, the children, the dream home, not just having a house, but a home here. What else do we have at the bottom? It's going to happen. Congratulations, you've got the world. And we have four fixed signs here. We have uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and we have also Aquarius. The worst of the worst is behind you, Sagittarius. Getting this card is so favorable. It's very lucky. It's a very good omen that you have learned massive lessons. Pat yourself on the back. It's a huge congratulations. There is a new world opening up before you here of possibilities, of blessings. And yes, I'm going to say it. The world is your oyster. 
for those traveling, you might meet someone. If you are not traveling, this definitely could be a foreigner, someone from overseas, someone that is worldly traveled, because I know something about you, Sagittarius, is that you love adventure, you love travel and all this. It's someone, it's gonna happen. Do not be surprised if this happens within the next month or two. I like to be generous with time. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this is what? The card of true love. Falling in love all over again. And with the water and the fishes, that is a very uh, symbolic imagery of emotional abundance, a huge dose of emotional healing. And it does encompass everything here that you want, or we add even more to it. Pregnancy, babies, children's commitment, engagement, marriage here. Oh, this is just fantastic. It's going to be a good time to be you, Sagittarius. What else do we have? The lovers, Gemini energy. Look at that. Two couples together in unison, making a decision from the heart, not from the head anymore. Follow your heart. This is like the ultimate partnership here where you are also best friends. How lovely is that? To have your happily ever after. It's not just for some. It's for all of you, including you, Sagittarius. And look at that. We have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. We've got the big bull right there in the middle. This is all about equal give and take. It's going to be very generous. It's like you give some, they give some here as well. And this already tells me someone's intentions here toward you. Um, it's already telling me they've got very good intentions. This is someone that perhaps could be. So let's not dismiss the new people coming into your life or are already in your life. This indeed could be um, a friend, it could be a work colleague, or it could be just a random meeting here at work. So I just love the space that you're in. So it's amazing here. Let's put the cards down first. What do we have? We have you, the Knight of Wands. I think some of you may be traveling and this can even just be interstate. It could be overseas. Even if you're not traveling, for those that say, I, I know that I'm definitely not traveling, this is the second fastest moving night. And it's all about taking action. We literally have someone coming in with gusto, with passion toward you. The nights are about messages, changes, and offers, transitions of the passionate kind. It's time to get excited again, Sagittarius, because the world is saying one door has closed. We're opening up another one here for you. And what are you doing? You're leaving the past behind. It's on your placement. The Eight of Cups is Pisces energy. The last, I'm going to say the last eight months for you. It's all about purging, releasing here, releasing the exes, things, you know, people, situation and events that no longer serve you. You are leaving the past behind. And you, you know what? That's what I love about you is that once you make up your mind, there's no stopping you. The Knight of Wands is often known as Mr. or Mrs. Right. That's coming in. But you will not be accepting anything, anything, anything less. And that's what I love about this is that no more time wasters, no people that come with strings attached. What can you expect? Yeah, it's going to be almost like a miracle. We've got the star Aquarius energy, a card of destiny here as well. It's about the North Star, miracles, hope, faith, renewal. So think about Sagittarius, that one deep wish you have about your next relationship. Think about it. Be aware of your thoughts because it's about to come true. This is beautiful. It's the wish card. And it's washing away the past, all the past pain, all the past hurt. And now it's saying this is a clean slate for you and this person. You want that Ten of Pentacles? You want it all? You're about to have it. What else is happening behind the scenes? It's you. Look at that. The Ten of Wands is strictly ruled by you, Sagittarius energy. To get to this point has not been easy. You're tired. You're probably withdrawn. Your body's a little bit achy because it's known as the most stressful card. But you're learning to leave, um, leave all that stress behind. People and situation and events that burden you, that just give you problems. You're not going to have that though in this new relationship because there is a shift happening within the next, uh, well, there's a B there. Uh, I'm just going to pause the, wow. Okay. Sorry about that. This is what happens when you do readings outside. Um, I think that was actually a wasp. <laughs> so maybe let's look up the meaning of wasp because that was just so random. Um, they're not really popular here. So obviously it came for a reason. Um, never been stung, so I don't know what reaction I would get. So let's go back to the reading here. Now the Ten of Wands, yes, it's known as the most stressful card here because to get to this point, it feels like exes, the world, responsibilities, they've put all these wands on your back. It's time to release them because each single one there represents a lesson, a challenge, a loss that you have learned from. So we've got to stand up straight, chin up, look to the future because now when that rolls over, we get the ace. The beating heart of your reading is the tower. Maybe some of you may be experiencing some form of PTSD and it's not really linked to the tower, Scorpio energy, but that's what my spirit team said. I think you're going to shock the hell a lot of people here just by leaving the past behind. It's like no more. 
no more. And I feel like your last relationship was a massive shock. In other words, some of you may have actually gotten cheated on or your person decided to choose something or someone else over you. They were a player in and out of your life. Even though we may have anticipated it um, and we knew this person's behavior, it still deeply hurt us and it, and it really shocked us. And the weight of the world was on your shoulders. But what I love about your emotional attitude here is that you are leaving it all behind. And that is going to shock other people in your life. Like, who is this Sagittarius? That's why you're the hermit. You're the wise sage. And there you are again, the nine of wands, Sagittarius energy. So I would say here, is that because of your the last relationship you had we could even go back and say the last two relationships you had it was so difficult be just aware that's why the star is saying be aware of your thoughts it's not enough to hope we have to believe let's not carry this into the new relationship after all we cannot cut everybody with the same sword but i see that you're apprehensive already it's like this is too good to be true you have reservations you have questions here right um and maybe that wasp there because it stings and i feel like maybe sagittarius you've been stung one too many times by the same person in due time though you will learn when you're ready to put those walls down because that's the wounded warrior and the wounded warrior never ever gives up we've got justice libra energy and the scales are balanced you are learning to find that balance here asking for help here as well if anything in hopes fears and wishes i feel like what you're after now is a more balanced relationship, more equal give and take. I can see some of you have either been separated or divorced in the past. Do not be surprised if the person you meet has also had a bit of a similar past here as well. Um, separated, divorced here as well. I'm really picking up that this new person that is about to enter your life that is destined, we cannot escape our destiny, Sagittarius, is definitely linked here either to your career or your passion projects. I'm also hearing um, friends friends and acquaintances and it seems random but it's all be pre-planned and literally this person could actually be a lawyer or work in the legal system that is a very literal meaning there as well beautiful another six six of um, cups Scorpio energy now normally I would say this is someone from your past but we're not talking about a past person we're talking about this new person coming into your life there might be children involved Sagittarius you might have your own children they may have you know their own children regardless of age but clearly here we are seeing the union of two souls coming together because you have a past life connection clearly I can see that yep there is unfinished business there is a soulmate contract that's why we have the lovers that's why we have now the uh six of cups here it's time to have fun again with it with this new person they're going to bring out your inner child life perhaps for the last three to five years has been way too serious it's been a burden no more no no look at this and you end with one of the best cards of celebration is the four of wands aries energy this is a twin flame connection it's gonna be intense it's beautiful it's a card of celebration in due time you will learn to put your walls down because this person wants exactly the same as you this is linked to commitment it's linked to marriage here as well the two union of souls where in due time we uh we move in together we create a home here as well i see you sagittarius and this person either changing jobs in the very near future and also changing address so this is going to be a pretty quick um moving relationship and i feel like it's going to shock a lot of people in fact it's probably going to shock you as well but that's the thing, you know, we might say, oh, it's moving too fast. But at the same time, time is everything, but time is also nothing here as well. Um, because both of you, especially you are coming now from the hermit um, attitude, we could say. Now, I do want to clarify these cards, but I'm definitely here to tell you, you got the Ace of Cups, you got the Star. There is a new relationship. It's just on the horizon and we got the Home card. So it's probably like literally here. For those that have met this person already, if you know who I'm talking about, it's just going to keep progressing. And for those that you don't know who this person is, I would say in a very respectful way to keep your eyes and your ears open. Do not dismiss the new people coming into your life. Say yes to invitations because this is a very fun social card. You are going to meet this person. Either way, it's destined. Let's do this. Two more, please, for Sagittarius. And the last one. everything and anything that Sagittarius should know about this new love please coming into their life two more last one excellent Sagittarius I'm really really proud of the fact that you have not given up and you are taking active action to leave behind anything that does not serve your life purpose anymore 
Okay, this person's watching you. What's going on? We've got the Page of Swords, the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. See, this is my online card. It's my spy card. I just feel that you really don't really know this person. You don't know, even know a lot about them. But this is someone that is looking perhaps at photos of you. They're probably writing up like a text message or an email here. And the reason why I say that, because the Page of Swords is the ultimate communicator. It is the true messenger. So in the next couple of weeks, check your junk mail folder as well, because we're getting a message here as well. This is someone that speaks the truth. And that's the only thing you've ever wanted in your relationships. We've got the King of Pentacles, regardless of gender. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, I believe that I would not be surprised if this was someone that was married in the past that might have their own children, but this is someone that's very generous. And despite what's happened in their past, they're after something serious. You want the Ten of Pentacles, they want the Ten of Pentacles as well. How beautiful is that? Security, stability, commitment, marriage. This is someone in a very high position, um, probably work in the corporate field, like I said, could be in the legal field, manager, boss, entrepreneur, CEO, all of those things. And this is someone that has a good head on their shoulders, but they're very generous with their money. Um, but generous with people that they care about and what's going to be you. We've got more Virgo energy, the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and here they come slowly toward you. They're coming here with offers, changes, messages of the solid kind it's promising it adds value to your life and all these pentacles for me it does represent that they are somehow connected to your studies to your career your finances your passion projects look at this from the slowest moving night we've got the fastest moving night gemini libra aquarius energy look at that the bird is soaring the message to you in the next couple of weeks so i almost feel that they're moving slowly toward you and once the lines of communication are open get ready it's going to move very fast don't be afraid because you got my favorite card i make such a big deal out of this we've got the sun ruled by leo it is indeed the happiest card it's pure joy bliss blessings it's the return of physical health if you actually are at a distance it's traveling both to a hot sunny place it's also the card of illumination look at this card it's actually blessing this relationship and the fool that's as far back as i will go is literally saying go for it do not be afraid of the horizon in fact sagittarius there is very little that scares you i know that you're naturally curious i think you're going to meet this person in the middle let's talk about that knight of wands yeah, the Five of Pentacles. So Five of Pentacles here is ruled by Taurus. And I can already see here that there is a bit of a, a conflict between I want to take action, but I'm afraid to be abandoned again. And I feel that's what happened in your previous relationship. And I'm really sorry about that. In fact, many of you didn't see it coming. And that's why it's like suddenly the burden to keep carrying on one foot in front of the other, because obviously life doesn't stop. It was a burden. It was hard. That's a, such a stressful card. It's, you know physical exhaustion. I can see here that your previous relationship, your person just went missing in action. They disappeared. They blocked you. You tried to reach out and they were disappearing. But now you're saying, you know what? I'm drawing the line. Enough is enough. Now you are leaving your that past behind. And look what happens. When you leave the past behind, you get the Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You get a brand new start, but it's a solid one. It's a breakthrough. It's about brand new beginnings. So this time next year, Sagittarius, mark my words, you will be in a very committed relationship if not married. We don't have to get married, but if you want that, that energy is there waiting for you to take it. I'm really proud of you, Sagittarius, because you haven't given up. What you have taken with you is the wisdom, is the experience, is the... You can give a very sage advice now to other people. You know what works and what doesn't work in relationships, which leads to the miracle. Ten of Pentacles, again, the second time we're seeing it, more Virgo energy. And it keeps getting better. The 10 rolls over to the ace. So that's why I'm saying that this new person that is entering your life, which I have a feeling that they're already keeping an eye on you. It's like, hmm, Sagittarius is attractive. Hmm, Sagittarius is smart. And uh, wow, they've got my interest. Both of you want the 10 of Pentacles, a solid, stable relationship. Wow, it's going to work. Let's talk about you. The Five of Cups. Hmm. Five of Cups here. Oh, we've got the wind picking up. We'll make sure that the, uh, I don't want the cards to blow away. <laughs> the Five of Cups is Scorpio energy, but this is right, uh, you know, it's clarifying your card here. I can see here that the burden has caused a lot of emotional disappointment. You've been blaming yourself. Oh, why did I meet this person? Why did I give them so many chances? Why did I let, you know, them use me? You know, for some of you, your person actually probably, you know, stole money, gambled your money, never returned it. That's for some of you, but pretty clearly here, you are very disappointed here. 
And I understand. And that's been something like your cross, to, you know, it's your cross to carry, your cross to bear. No more. No more. Once you start looking in another direction for happiness and we decide we're going to leave the past behind. Everyone has a past. Everyone has baggage. That's when you meet this new person. Let's talk about the tower. Two of Pentacles. That is a Capricorn energy. And what is it? It's all about weighing your options. Twos are all about um, choices, decisions here. And I feel that because this person's arrival is just so out of the blue, it's so out of left field, so random, even though it's been pre-planned by your spirit team and your person's spirit team, it's like, yeah, am I ready though? Because this, I see this is definitely going to happen at one of your busiest times. Like you're trying to balance family, work, administrations, bills, a lot of things here. Um, I see you're working hard to also increase your finances as well. And then boom, this person comes. So it's almost like a very shocking decision. Well, what do I do? Do I give this person a chance or not? Because I see that you're very guarded. Let's talk about you. Queen of Wands. There we go. Leo, Sagittarius and Aries energy, regardless of your gender, that is you. And I see that you will be taking action because that's what the Queen and the King of Wands do. They take action. They think about it. It's like, you know what? What do I have to lose? I've gained experience now. I'm not going to ignore red flags. No one's going to waste my time anymore. I'm going to take action. In due time, it's like, then I'll put my walls down when I feel ready. Let's talk about justice. The devil. Capricorn energy. You were... On the receiving end, I mean, let's look at this line here. You were on the receiving end of something very toxic, very unfair, very unruly, very unjust that you didn't deserve. I believe here that your ex either was a narcissist or just a plain, you know, borderline psychopath, not sociopath, that's different. Um, or indeed, they were just a narcissist. You were dealing with some very toxic energies here. And I feel like you're almost on the tail end, but you're leaving it behind here. The only thing I could say as well here for you yeah, a fear is, well, if I give this person a choice, you know, what if they end up being quite toxic? Again, that is a message to not cut every person with the same sword. It's only because I just feel that the last relationship actually did traumatize you. You put up with so much. Not anymore. Now, the devil is also exploring our shadow side. We also have to understand here, uh, are we doing anything to self-sabotage ourselves? What are we doing to block ourselves? In this instance, it seems here that we have troubles uh, trusting people. In a way, I don't blame you though, but that's something that we have to learn, as I said, to not cut everybody here with the same sword. But here they come. This is someone you have a past life connection with. You will instantly know. Your soul will recognize their soul. Again, we got the six of pentacles, Taurus energy. This will be an equal give and take relationship. It will be fair. This person's not going to steal your money. They're not coming with an agenda. This person has their own money. And I see this person has no problem giving you gifts, tokens of love, splurging their money on you. After all, that's what the king does. This is beautiful. Sixes that are all about harmony, peace, balance, emotional healing. The four of wands is clarified with the eight of swords. Now, this is Gemini I am in energy. Now, normally the eight of swords, the person there feels very restricted and trapped, right? No more. Because look, I'm going to put a bit more closer. Look what the person is doing. That is you. You're freeing yourself. You're cutting yourself from that which makes you feel trapped. In anything, the card is actually pretty much saying go for it. They said one more. Yep, two of wands. Absolutely. Aries energy, just go for it. Let me split the deck for you. Oops, let's do it properly. And the strength card. Leo energy, unconditional love. Literally going from strength to strength and the strength to go forward. This person wants what you want. They have no secret agenda. They come with good intentions, even if you have to start off as friends, because that's also a friendship card here as well. This is going to be a random meeting, and it's strongly connected here to your passions, passion projects, hobbies or hobbies turned to career, your finances, your career, your studies. And the star is kind of like co-conspiring here with your spirit teams to make this work. It's going to happen. Sagittarius, you're going to be very committed if not married this time next year. And I'm really proud of you, Sagittarius. You've literally been through hell and back. You've come out on the other side a lot more wiser. Enjoy life now. Enjoy this person because it's absolutely blessed. Now, I will hand this over now. I'll see you in the next couple of days. And uh, Gigi now will be uploading. Um, it's going to be in your dedicated playlist. She will be uploading your general financial and career reading. So if you want to focus also on other areas of your life, um, she is the person to do so. So do check out your playlist and I'll see you in the next couple of days, Sagittarius, with a brand new topic. Very, very proud of you. Bye.